Hi and welcome to Themico. In this video, we will talk about the three basic but important concepts in the study and simulation of a mechatronic machine. We are talking about the concept of a particle, a body, and a multibody. In the future, you'll see that these concepts will help us to use multibody formulations to form the equations of a model of the studied system, allowing us to carry out simulations of what if scenarios. At the end of the video, we expect you to have gained the understanding of the importance that these three concepts have. Let's begin. In our computational dynamics journey, we have mentioned the need for representing a mechanical system as a mathematical abstraction or as a set of mathematical formulas to be able to describe such a mechanical system. These formulas are known as equations of motion. The equations of motion are born from multibody dynamics formulations which tells us the method or steps to transform the mechanical system into its mathematical abstraction. There are many multibody dynamic formulations. In this course, you will see the specifics of a couple of them. They vary in accordance with the principle used and the expected form of the end result. However, some things that do not change are the components used in these formulations. Yes, you guessed it right. Particles, bodies, and definitively, multibodies. But I haven't answered why these three concepts are important to us. Let's introduce the importance by looking at the complexity of simulating the dynamics of a physical mechanical system. We know that we cannot have a one-to-one -one model because of the many unknowns present in the system. But what could be the simplest representation of a mechanical system? Well, the dynamics of any system has a very well-defined set of principles that governs them, Newton's laws. In Newton's laws, the simple representation of mechanical systems can be done using particles. This representation is a big simplification of a mechanical system, and still, it can be useful and even accurate sometimes. Let's take a look at one common example, a car. We all know that in a car there are more engineering fields involved, like electronics, even chemistry. But let it be our mechanical system. If we are just interested in the overall movement dynamics of the car, its position, velocity, and acceleration responses at a determined time. Then we could use the particle example to get all this information. In this case, the particle would perfectly define the inertia characteristics of the car needed to formulate the equations of motion and thus simulating the car trajectory. Right now, it's important to recall that the inertia of a particle is represented only by its mass. The particle's dimensions are not important at all. If we wanted to increase the complexity of our car model, and more specifically, we wanted to study the tire dynamics in a curved or on a rocky road, then we could use the concept of a body, meaning the tire is the body under study. As a body, it differs from a particle because besides its mass, we consider the shape of the tire which translates into knowing its dimensions and the inertia derived from them. In our car example, it is still a simplification of the physical model but now we are providing more details from the object being studied, not just the mass, to make our simulations. Now let's step it up a little bit. What about if I wanted to study the dynamics of a system's form by the car's steering system and the two front tires? Well, in this case, we are in the presence of a collection of bodies attached to each other in very specific ways to accomplish a mission, steering the car. This collection of bodies linked together is what we call a multibody system. In this case, we are not only taking into account the mass and inertia originating from the shape of each of the bodies, but we are also considering the ways the bodies are linked to each other by means of, wait for it, constraints. Write this word down because it is fundamental in this course. To lock down the concept, the behavior of the car's steering system is heavily influenced by the type of constraints we use and the shape and arrangement of this collection of bodies that we call multibody system. I hope you see the logic or the progressiveness in the complexity of the simulation process looking from the point of view of the particle, body, multibody. We saw that a particle is the simplest representation of a mechanical system where we consider only its mass. A body builds on top of the particle concept and adds the shape of the particle which introduced the concept of body inertia. Then we finalize with the concept of a multibody system, which we defined as a collection of bodies arranged in a specific way and attached to another with constraints, with the sole purpose of accomplishing an even more specific behavior or movement pattern. 
Interesting, isn't it? I hope you grasp the idea of these three concepts which are the basis of our formulations. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.